Hey, y'all, wake up, man. It's Cole the Barber. So we're going to do a ball fade today on my boy, man. I'm going to pretty much capture the left side of the haircut. You pretty much practice these same steps all the way around the head, man. And any part of the head that you need me to elaborate on, just comment down below. I'll try to make a video about it, man. So I got my uh, Babylon's Low Pros right here. Um, I'm putting that ball line on that boy. I got the Rose Gold FX Blade on there. That's why it's cutting like butter like that. And if you want to know how to get it that sharp, there's a video on my YouTube uh, that describes uh, how I sharpen my blades myself. It's a bit controversial, but you see how they cutting, don't you? All right, but yeah, so we putting that ball line on it, man. This is pretty much the only line I'll make because I fade top to bottom. I'm not, I'm not a, uh, I don't put all them damn lines inside of a haircut. It take too long. This is my 18 skip tooth blade, you know, knocking the top down. Um, this is a replacement for the one and a half. As y'all know, that's how I do it. I use an 18 skip tooth blade instead of a one and a half. So this is the one and a half guard I'm going against the grain, you know, breaking them waves up. Some of y'all may say, man, you going pretty high with that guard. I'm breaking the waves up. You got to break those waves. See how the transition is already there? All I'm doing, just breaking the waves. And I got it all the way open, so that's almost equivalent to a two. So it may look like I'm going high, but as you can see, you know, the transition is already uh, uh, showing itself. So I'm pretty much uh, just getting in there, you know, uh, hitting the spots that need to be hit. So this is the one and a half blade, right? on the Oster 76s. This is the one and a half blade. And I'm going right up under that one and a half guard. Cause if you know one and a half guards, it's really not a true one and a half, right? That's why I didn't go with the grain on the top with it. So the one and a half uh, blade is a bit sharper and it's lower, right? So I'm just going around the whole head with it, you know, right up under that one and a half guard. That's just my way of cutting. So, of course, I'm going to get the 1A, then go right up under that, you know. It's just really simple steps, man. You see how I'm using the corner of the blade? Make that transition nice and smooth. And when I spin the chair around, that's because I go around the whole head, man. Like I said, I'm just capturing uh, this one side, but I go around the whole head. This is how I keep my hair cuts under 30 minutes. But uh, yeah, man, you see I'm using the corner of that blade on it. That way, you know, we can chop it up and get the right type of, of, of blend, you know? So now I'm fading him with the wall seamers. This is all the way open. As you can see, I'm going right up under that. And y'all may say, Cole, man, how do you know, you know, where you put the last blade or guard? I've been doing this a while. You know, I've trained myself to cut top to bottom. It's faster to me and it gives a smoother transition because I'm not sitting here all day trying to take lines out. Only line I'm gonna take out is that ball line and that's too easy. Um. But this is the way I train myself, right? And if you just keep watching my videos, you will notice that's how I do it. And you should try this technique too, you know? Up your skills, you know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm probably at the, uh, I'm probably a quarter of the close right now. So I go open, halfway, close, and then I, I adjust the lever as needed in between, you know? And, and right now, you see it's like a quarter to close and then I close it all the way and now I'm taking that last little line out. Excuse my camera get a little bit uh blurry throughout the cut. You know, I'm I'm kind of new to these YouTube tutorials, but we're gonna get it together. See, I'm taking that last little line out. Right? And this is all the way closed. And look at that transition, man. Look at that transition. I didn't need to uh, 
I didn't need to make no lines, go up a, a quarter of an inch and all that, man. You know, do what you do, but this how I do mine, man. This this takes the least amount of time and it gets it done. Uh, so try this method uh, if, if you uh, want to try to cut like this here. So look at that transition, man. And I'm just right here by the brook. I'm just making sure that it's it's faded out right there. Cause most barbers, they they leave that they leave a lot of weight right there because they want a crisp line up it, but you don't see the transition. So as you see, I just sprayed the water on his hair. You'll see me do this in all my videos because it's gonna lay the hair down. Look how his waves popping. Look at that. Look at that. See how his hair changed, but now the hair is laid down. So I have to go back and kind of do some detail work because once the hair is laid down, it kind of changed forms. Cause if you look at it, look how it looked like it's a line in my fade now. But that's because the hair is laid down. So you gotta go back in and you gotta do some detail work. And this way, when he wash his hair, when he put a do-rag on, when he brush it, it still come back to the way that we cut it. You know, so you want to wet it and brush it just like he would if he was at home. So as you see, I'm doing a little detail work, making sure that uh, you know, that I, I my that my uh, fade and my blend is nice and smooth. You know, we don't need all them crazy lines in our fades. You know, so now I'm gonna put the line up on my boy. Tap 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 right. Tap tap tap. If you got the push people line you know with the edges man your edges may not be good or your technique is bad right you don't have to have the sharpest edges you need to have the sharpest technique right and that comes with practice but you see how i'm just tapping right tap 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 if i can't tap i don't want it if i can't tap i don't want it see this is the no chili bowl game right so if you want to be part of the no chili bowl game Subscribe to this YouTube, man. I'm going to be dropping these tutorials. Look at that. You want to do fades like this? You want to be part of the No Chili Bowl game? Subscribe to this YouTube, man. I'm going to get you out of that Chili Bowl game because I'm tired of seeing it. So I'm just kind of cleaning this, uh, this face up. Um, but yeah, man, um... Y'all got to learn using the, the 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 method where they put all the lines inside of the fade. Man, that, that is crazy, man. It's just crazy. It's just crazy to me. And we shouldn't um we shouldn't have to put all those lines in there, man. I just see this as the best method. <laughs> so I'm just tapping this uh mustache right here. You know, all detail work. Y'all ain't come here to see a lined up mustache. Y'all came here to see a goddamn ball fade. If that's the case, look at the ball fade while I'm lining up his uh, mustache. All right. A lot of barbers neglect that part of the game. But anyway, check out that fade, man. Check him out. This is the, this is the no chili bowl game, man. I'm telling you. No chili bowl gang. We don't do chili bowls around here. But like I said, you pretty much practice these steps all the way around the head. Um, I know that the uh, right side can get a bit tricky, right? And and I'll make a video on that, guaranteed. I definitely will. But I'm gonna show y'all the full cut in a second here, so you know. And my right side is just as uh, faded and blended as my uh, left side. And right here, I'm just kind of, you know, knocking the wild hairs off so you can get that smooth fade. That boy waves popping just like that. Just like that. Check my boy out, man. No chili bowl game, man. Y'all like the video, comment, subscribe, man. And let me know what y'all think.